So, are intelligence tests reliable and valid? Intelligence tests are some of the most reliable tests that we have. It was the intelligence movement that really focused on the psychometric properties of tests. And so there's been a very clear focus on improving the reliability of tests. When you look at the correlation between scores people receive on intelligence tests at two different times, so test, retest reliability, the average correlation is around 0.85. It can be higher, but 0.85 is the average correlation. For a range of different tests, having an average correlation of 0.85 would generally be considered good. With regard to validity, asking the question, do intelligence tests measure the things we think they measure? When we compare the performance on intelligence tests to things like performance or success at school, so that's criterion validity, what we see here is the correlation anywhere between 0.4 and 0.75. At the upper bounds, 0.75, that's pretty good. At the lower bounds of 0.4, that's moderate. So intelligence tests generally seem to measure the things we think they measure. If someone does get a high IQ score, what does that tell us? It doesn't tell us they're a good person or moral or anything like that or that they're going to have success in life. What it tells us is something about their cognitive ability and how likely they're going to do well at tasks that require cognitive ability. That's all an IQ score tells us. Having a good IQ isn't necessarily the only recipe for success. It's only part of the picture. It tells us about someone's cognitive ability, but a lot of other things contribute to success as well.